I have fought against white domination. And I have fought against black domination. I have cherished the ideal of a democratic and free society in which all persons will live together in harmony and with equal opportunities. It is an idea for which I hope to live for and to see realized. But my Lord, if it needs be, it is an idea for which I am prepared to die. <laughs> I knew that things will never be the same, hence he was gone. But then we needed to learn from whatever it is that he had taught us to, to make this place a better place, to make this country a better place. The 1994 uh, general elections, the first free elections, marked the end of the legacy of white minority rule. Uh, it marked the end of formal racial discrimination in the country, but we still have huge inequalities in this country. Our people have lost a father. Although we knew that this day would come, nothing can diminish our sense of a profound and enduring loss. His tireless struggle for freedom and him the respect of the world. His humility, his compassion, and his humanity and him their love. I'm sad, but at the same time, I think I'm quite happy and grateful to have lived when he was alive and I've seen uh, and heard all the struggle that he went through so that we could be here where we are today. Los sudafricanos salieron a la calle para mostrar su apoyo a la familia Mandela. Las casas donde el expresidente vivió en Johannesburgo y Soweto se convirtieron durante tres días en puntos de homenaje de las generaciones que lucharon contra el régimen racista del apartheid y las que tendrán que construir el futuro de Sudáfrica. It is our tradition, you know, when we when we said we sing, when we're happy, we also sing. So the only way we can actually express ourselves is by singing. Uh, and it's, it's important for us because as South Africans, that's how our culture is actually groomed out to be. Because at least I, I, I did a, like, get an opportunity to, to, to at least experience pre and post uh, uh, apartheid. And I can really see like the difference before then and now and where the country is going. So I give all thanks to Nelson Mandela. Desde 1948 hasta principios de la década de los 90, Sudáfrica vivió bajo el régimen del apartheid. El gobierno segregó a la población por razas, considerando siempre a los que no eran blancos como inferiores y con menos derechos. Nelson Mandela lideró la batalla contra esta injusticia y la ganó. Tata Madiba, como se le conocía cariñosamente en su país, no fue solo el político más querido de Sudáfrica, ha sido también uno de los líderes más indiscutibles de la historia. Los sudafricanos rindieron su último homenaje al hombre que liberó la nación en un funeral de estado de 10 días con actos por todo el país.
partner and I have two adopted children who are black and we are white. And such a family could never have been possible uh, under apartheid. And so for us, uh, Nelson Mandela really gave us the lives that we lead. And every day that we enjoy is in a sense a gift from him. El apartheid no solo clasificó a los sudafricanos por el color de la piel, también prohibió las relaciones entre diferentes razas. You go to town, we go to town with our mom, we have to come back early. I didn't understand those things, but those are the things that happened. I remember I was told one day um, not to, to, to talk to white guys, white guys like you guys, not to talk to white guys, they are not good. Six million whites forever ruling the lives of 40 plus million people. It's not possible. El apartheid reprimió con brutalidad cualquier oposición, pero lejos de desistir, los hombres y mujeres que lideraron la lucha contra el gobierno blanco pasaron a la clandestinidad. Mandela y sus camaradas fueron detenidos y condenados a cadena perpetua. Con los años, el apartheid se resquebrajó. La sin razón de ese sistema acabó siendo evidente a los ojos de todo el mundo y el gobierno sudafricano fue perdiendo los apoyos exteriores que había tenido. Los gritos para pedir la liberación de Mandela llegaban de todas las partes del planeta. Y tras 27 años preso, Mandela volvió a ser libre. Y lo hizo convertido ya en un símbolo mundial. Ganó las primeras elecciones democráticas que se celebraron en Sudáfrica y se convirtió en el primer presidente negro del país. Sus cinco años de mandato se centraron en construir un mensaje nacional de perdón y reconciliación. Don't live in the past. Remember the past, learn from it, but live for today and for tomorrow. And that's how he decided to make friends with everybody. Even some of them were known anti-black, vicious people. The, the things that um, he represented or he represents are really universal. You know, it's, it's, it's stuff that we need as human beings in order to enable societies that have experienced terrible atrocities and pain to move forward. He played a major role in preventing a civil war in South Africa. Uh, it, it's a bit of a cliche, but there's undoubtedly some truth to it, that uh, the potential for massive bloodshed uh, was there in the uh, final days of apartheid. Hace años que Sudáfrica no separa a las personas por el color de la piel. La ley reconoce la igualdad de todas las razas y prohíbe cualquier tipo de segregación racial como la que se llevó a cabo durante el apartheid. En los 20 años de democracia, Sudáfrica se ha convertido en la primera economía africana con el 25% del Producto Interior Bruto del continente. La educación se ha extendido. Durante el régimen racista, uno de cada cuatro negros era analfabeto. Hoy la educación llega al 90% de la población. Se ha duplicado el nombre de personas de raza negra con estudios universitarios. Se han construido 3 millones de casas para personas que antes vivían en asentamientos informales. Casi el 90% tiene acceso a agua potable y el 85% a electricidad. Todas estas mejoras en la vida diaria de los sudafricanos forman parte de la herencia de Mandela y se tradujeron en millones de agradecimientos a su expresidente. Por eso, en Sudáfrica, la tristeza por su pérdida se combinó con la celebración de su vida y su legado. today because of him, because of the struggles that he and the others went through. So just to say thank you to him, that was why we walked, took a taxi, 
suffered the rain and did everything just to say thank you. We've seen him a lot of, I've, I think that I've seen him a lot of times in my life, but I never really got a chance to say thank you. So that was just to say thank you. Líderes políticos de todo el mundo viajaron hasta Sudáfrica para dar el último adiós a Madiba. Nadie quiso faltar, incluso los países que hasta hace pocos años consideraron a Mandela un terrorista. El expresidente sudafricano no fue borrado de la lista negra de los Estados Unidos hasta el año 2008. El espíritu de la reconciliación que tanto propugnó en vida Mandela contagió el ambiente en el estadio de Soweto dejando imágenes para la historia. He had a, like a close place in our hearts. It's not a stranger. It's I think each and every one of us uh, feels that they know him personally. Each and every one of us has a thing that I know him personally. Even if you've never met him, but you have that thing with him. I've seen this man. I, I, I know him personally. You have like that special place. Everybody talks about him as their closest friend. The time that they spent with him. Because that's, that's significant about a man, that he has that appeal to everybody to make them feel that, he, that, that that person was important to Mandela. Why Mandela amongst a lot of fantastic people who gave their lives for freedom in this country? But why him? Because he was always able to listen to other people's views, was able to understand the position of people, and then find a way of weaving it into not what is good for the person, but what was good for the country, what was good for society. Promis tiene pocos recuerdos del apartheid. Gran parte de su vida ha sido en una Sudáfrica democrática. Pero es consciente de que sin la lucha liderada por Mandela y sus camaradas, su país no habría superado una de las injusticias más brutales de la historia. Por eso quiso que su hermana pequeña, ella sí nacida en la Sudáfrica libre, también viviera ese momento. I decided to take it to the stadium for her as well to to pay her last respects and to 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 be part I felt good it was history in the making and for her to be part of that maybe she'll get a chance to to tell her kids, her great grandkids, whoever she wants to, even the friends. Because you know now there's this hype on Facebook, so she was there to take pictures and post them on Facebook to talk to her friends that I was there at the funeral. A centenares de kilómetros del estadio de Soweto, Boninwe sigue el funeral por televisión. Llegó hace dos años a un barrio de chabolas a las afueras de la ciudad de Durban. Vino con su hijo y en busca de trabajo, pero aún no ha encontrado nada. A pesar de los avances en libertad y derechos, para una parte importante de la población sudafricana, la vida no ha mejorado. Our leaders don't want to respect to us. We, we, we should do the same as the ANC was doing to them. To, to the uh, apartheid government, so we, we, we went to street, we, we protested, uh, and uh, that's when they uh, took us seriously. Cuatro años después de ver a Mandela libre, Sudáfrica celebró sus primeras elecciones democráticas. Todos estaban llamados a las urnas, indistintamente del color de su piel. Acudieron en masa y Mandela arrasó sin discusiones. Never. Never. And never again shall it be that this beautiful land will again experience the oppression of one by another. Dos décadas después, las mismas colas kilométricas hacia los colegios electorales de aquellas primeras elecciones realmente libres se repitieron en Pretoria para dar el último adiós al considerado padre de la nación sudafricana. I saw him for the first time. It was my first time and uh, my last time, so uh, my heart now is broken. He was a great man. And, um, you know, I'm one of those people that at one stage fought on the other side. I fought against in the forces that were up in Angola and all the other places. 
in the border wars. And I'm very glad that South Africa has had Madiba as its leader. Para avanzar en la reconciliación de razas, Mandela tuvo que admitir una serie de compromisos conservadores, sobre todo en el terreno económico. Algunos opinan que sin esas concesiones el país habría explotado en una guerra civil. As well, but there are elements in the black population that were impatient with what they saw as his too conciliatory approach and who are pressing for more radical change. A pesar de los avances en derechos y libertades, Sudáfrica afronta grandes desafíos. Los hogares formados por personas blancas ganan seis veces más que los formados por familias negras. Se calcula que los ingresos no se equipararán hasta el año 2061. El 35% de la población negra no tiene trabajo frente al 6% de desempleados de raza blanca. Las cifras de criminalidad son preocupantes. Cada día se cometen 43 asesinatos y hay una violación cada minuto. La mayoría de crímenes ocurren en las zonas más pobres. Además, Sudáfrica debe hacer frente a un gran reto, el VIH. Es el país con más afectados del mundo, 5,3 millones de personas y 3,3 millones de niños huérfanos por culpa del SIDA. Hay todavía mucho trabajo que tiene que ser hecho para integrar a los africanos un poco más y para asegurar que se encuentren con los otros. Porque a nivel social estamos todavía muy divididos como sociedad, así que hay todavía un sentido muy fuerte de otros. Estamos no donde queremos estar, estamos en el otro lado. Tenemos todavía mucho que hacer, pero hay todavía mucho que hacer. Y en este caso, 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 In our communities, there's a lot that still needs to improve, but we can get there if we work together. I don't personally, I don't believe we will get to a place where we are, we are in, even, we're in power. But we can, we can try. Not in, our, not in my generation, though. Maybe in their generation, they could get to a place where everything is is is, is equal. But f from where I'm looking at now, it's a long way to go. No, no, he didn't fail. He's an international symbol, but I feel like. For us, for us here, here in South Africa, so many things are left undone. In fact, I feel that we as black people, we are in power, but we are not in control because our resources here in Africa no longer sustain us. Major challenges uh, that the government faces uh, in terms of dealing, for example, with uh, poverty and unemployment, with the gap between the rich and the poor. It's a gap not only between races, but between some blacks who uh, have joined the elite and others who've been left behind. Um, so there are major challenges that uh, the government uh, has had to deal with. It has to deal at the same time with uh, expectations in the population that are very high. And on the one hand, the ANC commands a great loyalty. On the other hand, uh, the population expects more of it. So instead of voting it out of power, you have large sections of the impoverished to participate in protests and strikes. And I think we're going to uh, continue to see pressure from below for uh, more radical changes that will address uh, poverty and inequality and unemployment. See us from today, we just uh, having this much because they didn't, uh, they didn't never respond to our uh, memorandum. So that is why we take this decision to um, have uh, this much here. A pesar de que Mandela solo optó a un mandato y de que en 2004 anunció su retirada de la vida pública, siempre se declaró un hombre de partido. 
El Congreso Nacional Africano sigue siendo la fuerza mayoritaria en Sudáfrica, pero indudablemente la pérdida de Mandela abre una nueva etapa en el partido. The loyalty of the population to the uh, African National Congress is not dependent on Mandela alone. It's dependent on the, the image that the ANC has as a, a party of liberation, which means a lot to uh, blacks of all generations and uh, across all social groups. Uh, and, and I think it'll continue to be able to draw on that prestige for some time to come and, and continue to be able to draw on the, on, the, on the fact that there are ongoing racial tensions and racial inequalities in the country. So as long as the ANC can uh, represent itself as the party that represents the interests of most black people, I think it uh, is likely to uh, remain the politically dominant force. Mandela pertenecía a la etnia Cosa y como manda la tradición Cosa, al final regresó a los orígenes. Siempre dijo Mandela que quería ser enterrado en Kunu, la aldea rural donde se crió, en el cementerio familiar donde yacen también los restos de su madre y tres de sus hijos. Después de tres días de capilla ardiente en Pretoria, el féretro viajó hasta esta pequeña aldea al sureste del país. La comitiva fúnebre fue recibida por miles de sudafricanos. La región del Cabo Oriental, orgullosa de ser la cuna de Mandela y otros históricos luchadores anti-apartheid, es también aún hoy una de las más humildes del país. You know, under the ANC, there has been uh, the provision of millions of, of houses for poor people. Uh, we've seen the uh, provi uh, many people in rural areas gaining access to water and electricity. Uh, so there have been gains, but these gains have always been uh, offset, if you like, by uh, the, the huge, in particular, structural unemployment. Uh, in South Africa, the, the inability of South Africa to grow in a, at a pace and in a manner that absorbs large amounts of labor. Por un día, la rural y tranquila Kunu se convirtió en el centro del mundo. Madala, we may be drowned in fear, uh, in sorrow and grief. We must be proud and grateful that after the long walk paved with the obstacles and suffering, We can salute you as a fighter for freedom in the end. Farewell, my dear brother, my mentor, my leader. With all the energy and determination of our command, we, ple we pledge to join the people of South Africa to perpetuate your, your ideal. When Walter died, I lost a father. And now I have lost a brother. My life is in a void, and I don't know who to turn to. Thank you very much. So we have one dignity as human beings, equal, but we still cannot be satisfied until every child uh, goes to bed. As Mandela said, until every child goes to bed, with a full stomach, gets up in the morning, smiling, with a full stomach, proper clothes, goes to school, proper school. That even though people see him as an icon, every time you talk to him, he'll always tell you that I'm not the only one who contributed to the freedom of South Africa. It was I and a lot of other people. So the acknowledgement of the collective and what other people have done. Uh, and, and, and for me, that is really crucial because 
um, that's what we need to take forward to understand that the future of South Africa of any country is not in just one person. The legacy that uh, our Dr. Nelson Mandela has left is, is, is so powerful and uh, it's up to us as South Africans to, to, to make sure that we sustain that legacy forever. This is not me talking, but it's, I learned this from my brother, believe me. Success in life can only be measured in two forms. What you yourself have achieved, which you yourself have achieved.